Arthas did nothing wrong. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hi, I'm designer Dave, the designer of The Calling of Stratholm, the turning point for Arthas in the campaign where he goes into irredeemable evil. I don't know where this idea that Arthas was always doing the right thing or on the right path or making the correct choices, but he clearly was not, and I'll explain why. In the Ravages of the Plague mission, uh, this is their first encounter with an abomination. Jaina points out that creature looks like it's sewn together from different corpses. But at this point, Arthas should understand corpses become undead. Next up, we have uh, the March of the Scourge, wherein Uther says, What we faced here was only the beginning. The undead ranks are bolstered every time one of our warriors falls in battle. Dead people become undead new undead. Next, the Prince and the Prophet. Arthas gets a warning from Medivh himself. This land is lost, the shadow has already fallen, and nothing you do will deter it. If you truly wish to save your people, lead them across the sea to the west. Arthas says, my place is here and my only course is to defend my people. Granted, maybe he thinks he's a loony bin or whatever, but Janus, who is a powerful mage, says, you know, maybe he's right. Maybe he does know what will happen. So he's got his best friend basically warning him again. Then in the culling, <laughs> he basically tells Uther he's going to purge this city. And Uther is like, that's insane. And even Jaina can't watch him do this. It's, it's right here. You've just crossed a terrible threshold, Arthas. Let's look at the culling from the standpoint of what you're doing in the mission. You're going into a city plagued with diseased grain to murder the civilians before Malganus can rush them into becoming zombies. Zombies eventually become ghouls, that's canon, but dead bodies become abominations. It just takes longer. Or they can be raised into skeletons by necromancers. So every indication here says that killing all these people will do literally nothing, but he does it anyways because of a petty competition with the Dreadlord. This is pure evil. There is no redemption here. There's no way that this can be interpreted in any other way than Arthas had completely succumbed to evil. And we can dabble in the idea that the Lich King was telepathically corrupting his mind, which is canon, but there is no possible way to interpret the culling and Arthas's actions there as the correct thing to do. No way at all. Because if you don't kill them, what happens? Literally a slower spread. It takes time for, time for the zombies to, to be converted into ghouls and become more powerful or to be stitched together in abominations. It doesn't, it doesn't even matter. Murdering all those people doesn't even delay anything because the grain was already there, it was already poisoned, and the undead had already taken the city. There was no stopping it or holding it back. And the idea that Uther, Jaina, and Arthas combined could defeat Malganus is fallacy simply because he would he was always intending to escape and he did escape at the end so as soon as it turned against him he would have fled and the city had already fallen and arthas only accelerated that by murdering civilians so uh arthas was wrong and uh i'm saddened that a lot of people didn't get that and are saying that arthas did nothing wrong because clearly this mission the entire point of the culling of Stratholm is that this is the turning point for Arthas where he goes to pure evil and everything beyond that is just icing on the on the evil cake. 